What was the mission and have we really accomplished it? There's one overwhelming reason why this was the right thing to do, and that is to deter the use of chemical weapons, not just by the Assad regime, but around the world. And I think one of the most distressing things about the events of the last few years has been uh, the growth, the contemptuous growth in the use of uh, chemical weapons uh, mm. in the, the Syrian theatre of conflict. And you can imagine uh, that people around the world are looking now and saying, well, finally, someone stood up mm. against that. And the world said, enough uh, to the use of such weapons. It's one of the great achievements of the modern world uh, that we've banned uh, chemical weapons. A hundred years, virtually, mm. uh, that prohibition has been there. And now the UK France, America have stepped forward to vindicate that. But it's also clear that because we had to warn the Russians in advance what we were doing, so we didn't kill lots of Russians and start World War III, they will have told us, sad, he has moved stuff out. Do you think he still has weapons capability of that nature? I can't answer that question. Clearly, the strikes were uh, successful on three important sites, but the overwhelming purpose. The, the mission was to, to send a message mm. that after years now in which we've seen a series of chemical weapons strikes, four of them, uh, by the way, auth authenticated by the, the OPCW Joint Investigative uh, Mechanism, dozens of other uh, site, uh, attacks of which we have testimony. Finally, uh, the world has said enough is enough. And uh, I think it's important to understand the limits of what we're trying to do. You're this not is not trying about to end the war. That's right, Andrew. And and I think that this is not going to we must be honest. This is not going to turn the tide of the conflict in Syria. Uh, one can hope that it encourages the Russians to get Assad uh, to the uh, negotiating table in Geneva to get a political process properly going, but that is uh, that is as it mm. were an extra. The primary purpose is to say no to the use of barbaric chemical weapons. And I want to come r directly back to that. But before we do, I guess the question on a lot of people's lips today is, is that it now? Because President Trump has talked about being locked and loaded. Are we locked and loaded if Assad uses chemical weapons in a week's time or a month's time or three months' time? Will we do the same thing again? Is this the beginning of a process or is it the end of something? Well, we must hope that it uh, is a deterrent. Obviously, hope, that's, yes. that's, of course... And I believe it's been a successful mission. I believe it's a, a timely, appropriate and mm. uh, commensurate uh, mission. Uh, we but, can't but, tell. But if we in three weeks how, we get a chemical attack. We can't tell how the Assad regime uh, will respond. Uh, I believe it was the right response mm. to, to what happened uh, in Douma. Uh, the evidence was overwhelming, as, your, uh, correspond as, as, the, uh, as, as people were discussing just now on your, on your show. Sunday Times, yeah. On the Sunday Times, the... the the, the smell of chlorine, the, the sight of that uh, regime helicopter in the air. No one else has helicopters. No one else would be capable of dropping a barrel bomb of, of chlorine in that way. The evidence uh, was absolutely overwhelmingly uh, overwhelming. It was timely. It was uh, proportionate. And to get to the legal question, mm. uh, it will, I believe, if we can... If it there is a genuine debate about this, isn't there? I if mean... it acts as a deterrent, uh, it, which I hope it will, uh, it can alleviate further a humanitarian suffering.